around in fashion today, what we see is lots of cowl necks. They've been around for a long time and they still continue to be. And I think just because of the versatility, the simplicity, they serve as a great background, they serve as a great foreground, they just really work well in our wardrobe. Many of you have this pattern. I have had unbelievable amount of photos saying, I love this pattern, it's my favorite, it's the only one I make, it's my go-to, et cetera, et cetera. And for all of you who have maybe been away from sewing for a while, starting out again, it's just a great place to be. So today this photo was sent to me by one of you, and it's, I'm not sure how closely you can see it, but basically it just cuts up one side and down the other. It's just a little, like a little tulip leaf at the bottom of the, of the garment. Now I'm gonna add it to a cowl because to me, it seems like the softness of the cowl and the curve of the bottom kind of correlate and go together. And so that I, instead of just doing a regular t-shirt, I'm going to use the cowl. Also, I'm going to use the cowl because you don't have to worry about any darting that you're crossing or going into. Not that you could still do it, but um, I think it's just a real great combination of fabric and pattern to use those together. The fabric I'm using, whenever you do a cowl, the pattern is made for a woven. Doesn't mean you have to use a woven. We see lots of knits out there. We just have to change up the sleeve. That's the most important thing is that we need to change up the sleeve. If you do a woven pattern with a knit sleeve, it's really just gonna look like that sleeve is way too big. So I'm gonna change the armhole to a knit armhole. I don't want too much negative ease. I am going down in size just a little bit, but if you have negative ease in a cowl, it will pull away the cowl, you won't have the cowl. So it's really okay to have the body a little bit larger and the sleeve a little bit tighter and that differentiates where it's a where it's too loose in the body but not too loose in the sleeve and it makes it kind of balances it out so the fabric i'm using it's really dense a uh, great drape I, I love it it's it's not linear generally you wouldn't do a linear fabric with a cowl because a cowl is a feminine pattern per se and linear fabrics are more masculine patterns but this one because it's so linear but not <laughs> a soft linear i'm really going to get away with it and i love it i just love the way it looks i i really really like it i think it's going to be a great combination um so all i'm going to do is add length and then i'm going to curve the bottom i'll show you how to do that i'm actually not even going to make the pattern and the reason i'm not going to make the pattern is because i just think it'll save us a little bit of time so what i'm going to do is cut the front twice and I'm actually lengthening this. So if you lengthen it to where it's, um, I'm gonna go about three inches longer in the front. Probably it'll be about seven inches longer in the back. And again, you can do this. If you're not comfortable with doing it just freehand, basically all I'm doing is duplicating the, the front and then making that swag that's gonna be at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate it. I'm gonna actually cut it once, and then I'll use that as a pattern to cut it the second time. So I'm kind of making a pattern. I'm just making a pattern out of my fabric, per se. So I'm gonna to cut to those points, then I'm gonna stop, and I'll just put a little mark knowing where my pattern is going to go as it turns, and then I'm just gonna flip it. And that's my mark for the bottom and I only cut to the middle for the top so you can see that I can just continue cutting or I could just take my fabric at this point and just fold it over to meet the pattern as well either way whatever works for you or like I said you can take the time to make the front I just wanted to show you kind of an option today of a different way to do it where you maybe save a little bit of time and I don't see that um, you know you always have to be careful you always have to think it through what you're doing we know that my motto is never do this at you know midnight and so I can just cut up and duplicate what I've already done all right and there I have it now the reason I'm doing this and showing you this slow motion 
is because I want to show you the bottom and then you're going to cut another one. So we're actually going to have two fronts. All right, that's my scrap. I'm going to take this away. And that's what my cow front is going to look like. However, having said that, um, the photo, if you notice, it cuts low on this side and cuts up on this side. So this is going to be the, the top front. And so I'm going to take my curve. I'm going to decide where I want it on the front. So I'm going to take it to about the waist. And then I'm just going to follow the cut of this curve here. And because both sides are going to be the same, the front will be covered. It'll just be, there you have it, that's what I want. Okay, so there's my pattern now. And you can see the other one's going to be longer here and cut up the other way. Um, I can lay this face down on the fabric to make sure that I'm getting the opposite side. The back is cut just like it is. I started with two yards of fabric. The sleeve, I love in the summertime a three-quarter sleeve, so I'm going to stick with the three-quarter sleeve on this particular one. And then I'm sewing it exactly like the directions. The only thing is, is obviously I'm sewing two cowls as I come to the front and the neckline and all of those places in there. But this is going to be my cowl, and I love it already. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Just a fun little casual little t-shirt for the summer. One thing I've mentioned before and I'm going to mention again is these zippers. Like a lot of times I'll use the zipper and I'll put them in someplace and I have a little bit of zipper left. So I save them because they're great weights. And if you just snip off like an inch or so and just snip right there between the teeth, then that makes a great weight for the base of the cowl. So I can sew it and I can, because there's going to be two layers, I'll sew them both together. And this really gives that cowl a nice drape there. It already has the tape on it. You can just sew it right into the base of the cowl. And it, it just helps keep that cowl nice and cowly. <laughs> okay. I know that's not a word. Anyway. All right. So let's get going. Let's cut the rest of it. Let's sew. And this is going to be a great little summer t-shirt with, that I can just throw on and I can look better than I feel. How's that? And I'm actually, I think I'm going to actually do two little weights on the inside there just to give it a little bit more. But I always save these ends of these zippers because they're great for just that.
So just a couple things I want you to remember when you're dealing with a cowl. Well, well this cowl. Number one, the darts are built into the neck to the cowl. The darts are built into the cowl. So it gives me a lot of freedom to play throughout the pattern and not have to consider the darts because they're all built into the pattern, which is a really nice feature. The second thing to remember that I just wanted to kind of remind you of is when I'm dealing with a knit, I don't have a grain. So I can turn that pattern however I want simply to benefit the beauty of the fabric. Or to, you know, I can take the fabric and say, okay, is this way a better drape? Is this way a better drape? I can actually get, and, and sometimes with knits, there is a drape in one direction that's better than another simply because of the stretch or the density or the, the threads or whatever. So I can turn the fabric to really complement, I can turn the pattern, I'm sorry. I can turn the pattern to really complement the fabric and that's just fun when I can do that. So keep those two things in mind that my I'm free, I'm freed up to worry not about the darts and I'm also free to not worry about the grain or get stuck into a particular pattern but I can kind of move it however I want and we'll see that when I finish making it. I'll put it on so that you can really see that there's there's any direction. So let's go have some fun and get this thing sewn. Open eye through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, dripping lights, paint the skies, all because of you. Dripping lights. So here it is. I'm in my sewing room. I just finished. I just put it on. I love it. I love how it feels. I just love it. So you see how it's asymmetric without being asymmetric because it's a knit and you can do anything you want with it. Just so much fun. I love the cowl. It drapes so beautiful. I just love it and I'll wear it all day everywhere I go. The back I cut a little longer in the back just you know to kind of cover my rear end. I love it. Hope Hope you do too. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.